Finding and removing exact duplicate files with duplicate cleaner. Before starting, as with any hard drive cleanup project it is always best to have a recent backup, preferably on a different drive or in the cloud. On the Home tab, click on New Scan to start with the default settings. The place where you select your scanning mode and set your criteria for matching duplicates is the Scan Criteria tab. On the Scan Criteria tab Duplicate Cleaner has four types of scanning mode, Regular, Image, Audio and Video mode. Regular mode will find duplicates by comparing the actual content of the files, or by attributes such as file name, date and size. It can be used to find exact file matches. And that is what we'll be looking for today. Finding exact copies first is always the best start to any duplicate finding project. Note that if you select too many criteria such as same modified and created date, duplicate cleaner may not find any matches. For this search, we are using regular mode with just same content selected. This will match files with the exact same binary content. It ignores other factors such as file names and dates. This scan will match all file types, with no restrictions. Each file will be compared against every other file, regardless of type. You can tell Duplicate Cleaner where to look for your files on the Scan Location tab. You can use one or more paths or drives as a starting point. Drag the folders you require over to the folders to search pane. You can also drag them in from Windows Explorer if you prefer. Note we are scanning the subfolders of the selected folder as indicated by this setting. Now we go to the scanning tab. This will display a summary of your settings for this scan. To begin searching for duplicates, click Start Scan. After it is complete you will see a summary of what has been found. Click on the Duplicate Files tab to see the results. The files are split into groups. Each group will contain duplicate files according to the criteria you set for the scan. Check marking or marking a file specifies that you intend to delete, move or copy that file later on. Note that this list contains all copies of each file, so you should leave at least one file in each group when deleting files. There are a lot of ways to mark the files you want to remove. Many of them are automatic, so please see the Marking Duplicate Files tutorial for a more in-depth look. For now, we will mark all but one file in each duplicate group using the Selection Assistant. but we will keep these two groups. Click on the Removal tab to access the file deletion settings. There are lots of other things you can do with the marked files here in addition to deleting, including moving, copying, renaming, linking, and exporting lists. We want to delete the files to the recycle bin and remove any empty folders left behind. Click the Delete Files button to begin. The files have now been deleted. Back on the Duplicate Files tab you will see that the marked files have gone, and groups which would have had one file remaining are hidden. The groups which aren't marked have not been changed, 